Dieu foulard, adieu ma trace, adieu grado, récolier chou, doudou, en wani, kapati, hélas, 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 No one can ever guess the exact combination of what I am, the exact miscegenation equation that resulted in my features, but generally the most common description that I get is that I look exotic. A friend of mine who's a playwright dared me to um, stop complaining about my research and my PhD work and instead to see it as a creative opportunity. Like, what else could I do with that material? And I said to her, actually, I've been writing this other thing in tandem. So I was writing the thesis, but I was also writing what became the play. Favorite family joke goes like this. The kids are like day and night, night and day. One of them must be the milkman's child. It's not a very funny joke. <laughs> Go ahead. Choose an example. I say to Camille one day that I am not of color enough and she scoffs. Just come here to the south. One drop rule, my friend. One drop rule. Job search advice from academics. Shirley says, for the love of God, tell the search committee you are biracial, biracial. The words are not enough for me as an actor, but they're also not enough for the protagonist to get what she's looking for, right? Mm -hmm. There has to be, a, there's the emotional level, there's the physicality, there's the sound, there's the taste of the mango. There's... How can you write an academic article about a book set in a Caribbean night when you've never experienced one? There's the building, that's a layered sort of thing, especially when you first um, truly mention it, that you're there and experiencing the night for the first yeah. time. Mm -hmm. So having the tree frogs be there as the first yeah. layer. Yeah. Around 6 p.m. every night, twilight is ushered in by the tree frogs. Then the mosquitoes come out to feast. You know, some, sometimes I use songs and sometimes I don't really know what I'm doing to get from world to world, right? And maybe there's like traveling like, yes. you know, to travel between the worlds is where I think potentially the yeah. movement vocabulary can come in. I love the repetition that you used, like the, um, the map idea with the walking. Um, and I thought from a movement point of view that maybe that part could be enhanced more mm -hmm. through movement. Mm -hmm. um, and I would be really curious, I mean, I, don't, yeah, yeah. I would be really curious to see you do the whole thing again and move where you feel, uh -huh. yeah. move to move. My brother and I played a game when we were children. We would hold out our arms and compare their color. Then someone would be the slave auctioneer and decide which one of us would be sold or freed. I was always sold, he was always freed. So at one point, closer to the end, where you uh, walk in and actually submerge yourself. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'd like to have that sort of sound where you are hearing, but yeah. then it's you can actually hear oh. a sub submersion. Uh -huh. Yeah, the way that sound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, that's, that's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. For three months of the year, you can walk to this little island along a sandbar revealed by the tides. So one afternoon, I walk on the bottom of the sea. Yeah, being in the water and um, looking to the left, looking to the right, looking forward and back and seeing different places in the world being submerged. I, that was a very beautiful moment. Okay, here's your chance. What do you think I am? You know, where am I from? Take a while. 